when I joined the, the Royal Air Force Police when I was 18, I was very naive, and I naively believed that nobody would ever confess to a crime they did not commit. Until one day when I was a very junior uh, detective, I was asked to investigate um, quite a serious crime, and I carried on interviewing somebody because I believed it was this particular person. Eventually that person just uh, said, yeah, it was me. He put his hands up and said, yeah, it was me. And then a week before the military courts martial, somebody else came into the police station and said, it wasn't such and such, it was me. That was one of the main reasons I got into psychology because I didn't believe until that point that anybody would ever falsely confess to a crime they didn't commit. I think first of all, we have to remember that police interviews are very daunting environments for suspects to be in. And police interviews take place behind closed doors, which makes it an environment that's fertile for uh, police abuses and human rights abuses to take place. The Innocence Project calls for the recordation of custodial interrogations um, as really a foundational reform. This is a way to figure out what transpired during the course of an interrogation. And there are incredible benefits to, you know, both the suspect, right, but also to law enforcement. At the UN level, the Special Rapporteur on Torture has already recommended that all police interrogations should be recorded. And if they are not recorded, uh, the evidence that you obtain through interrogations uh, shouldn't be used at trial. If that suspect feels that he's been uh, abused or coercive techniques are used against that particular individual, he can then speak to his legal advisor if he or she has one, or in court can actually advise the court that some kind of, uh, of coercion or tactics have been used, and they can actually then play back that audio recording or video recording in court. More recently in 2021, the Mendes Principles has again emphasised the importance of uh, audio-visual recording in police interviews. The Mendes Principles was a four-year process with 15 international um, steering committee, experts from around the world, including psychology, human rights, criminology, uh, terrorism, etc. And through that four year process, we were able to develop a set of principles to say, this is how we can improve practice. My view would be it actually protects and helps everybody concerned in that process. So for example, if somebody wants to make an accusation against the police officer or against the interviewer, if we have an audio recording or a video recording, we can either prove or disprove that allegation. So it's absolutely vital that we have that equipment and that audio or video recording available. Recordation of interrogations absolutely protects suspects by ensuring that their rights are protected in the interrogation room. It creates a deterrent against improper or coercive interrogation techniques or methods that might lead to false confessions. And it alerts investigators, judges and juries, you know, if a suspect has mental limitations or other vulnerabilities that might make him or her you know, more susceptible to falsely confessing. But there is no way to assess uh, the accuracy or reliability of a confession if there uh, is no record of what transpired leading up to that confession. There isn't um, consistent practice when it comes to audiovisual recordings in the European Union. In some countries like Croatia and Ireland, there are laws uh, that say that police interviews should be recorded. We need to really emphasise that audiovisual recordings aren't on their own going to eliminate uh, human rights abuses that take place in uh, police stations. You need both audiovisual recording and uh, the presence of a lawyer. They both provide very important safeguards for suspects in police interviews and also lawyers should have access to those recordings and be in a position to use them uh, in criminal proceedings. And courts should also be able to have access to uh, those materials to settle any factual disputes in relation to what happened in the police interrogation.